guys, what's up? Raja there from VFX World. Welcome back to my channel. Hope you guys are doing absolutely fine. Guys, today I'll show you how you guys can morph between two images inside of Nuke X by using Spline Wrap Node. And this is the most exciting tutorial ever I have made. So without wasting any time, as I always say, let's get started. So guys, uh, first of all, after a long time, I am again back to Nuke and this time with a pretty interesting tutorial which called Nuke Face Morphing and today I will show in this footage how to morph faces between two. So this is my first face uh, and this is the second one which is uh, Tom Cruise and this is Arithi Roshan. So let's morph this together. So first of all, uh, what you have to do, now I, what I did before this, this is a different image format and this is a different image format. So I just put a reformat node and see this was my previous image which was like this, then I added reformat, then obviously a transform to scale it. And the second one also same, reformat, then transform. And now what I, wh why I did this too, now if you notice, see this one and this one positions are almost same so what I did I took a merge node here and put connect it like this and press 1 and then I decrease the mix value now you can see both eyes are right now in same place so this is the basic idea to match these two characters proper way so I can I, I, I think you guys understand which thing I am talking about so now always check before starting that your two guys positions are almost same or it's uh, try to match their positions a little bit okay so it will help you for your morph okay now delete this merge now obviously we have to take a spline wrap okay guys so first of all i want to tell you guys that this in this tutorial i will not talk about in details about spline wrap only the morphing department i am showing you right now so just uh, take a spline pressing tab take a spline wrap okay so guys spline wrap is a very in uh, powerful tool for our industry uh, for morphing as well so now you can see there's a two options here one is a pipe one is b pipe and now this is the output pipe so connect this to output and a and b now this is all done your basic setup okay now i'm decreasing the resolution because uh, so it will help you for more better uh, like faster see okay so now in spline wrap this is a, a connection so this photo is right now in a mode and this is in b mode so when you uh, drag this uh, sorry this uh, can see this spline wrap options there are so many options uh, visible here one is the output option then mix then root wrap okay so these are the basic things we have to know about then layer wrap and pair wrap is also there but in this tutorial i will not show about layer wrap but i'll just explain it because this is a very easy thing okay so what is the boundary box curves the boundary box curves you, you can see there is a orange color of lines here see this is the boundary box curves okay and crop to format you all know all, what is that okay so these are the channels and all so just rest of the part is not needed right now okay so as you guys can see in spline wrap tools we have some tools over here which is kind of look like a roto uh, prep tool but uh, this is the difference because we have some tools different different tools I, again guys in this tutorial i will not explain about more in spline wrap only the morphing i will show if anyone want to know about spline wrap in details then do comments i will make videos on that okay so to, the basic concern is we have to animate this character to our this character okay and the animation should be always smooth okay so let's make some keyframes before uh, just press s on your keyboard and make your frame range like 10 frames it's good enough because uh, it will help you to buffer and it's obviously smooth okay now what I have to do connect this to here and double click on your spline wrap node and now see this is in a wrapped mode okay when you open this output option there is so many options like a a wrap b b wrap and a b morph okay so now if we in a wrap so take a spline and when you click here and just drag it see it's already coming like it's already wrapping so it means it's already wrapped before you start so just control z it and then obviously go to your a mode only a mode okay and from here turn off your preview 
Okay, now select this Bezier or some kind of tool and then just like I'll check for this nose part. So just make a shape like this. No need to make some precise shape. Just make it as much as you can good. So like this and like this. Now you can close this but I suggest do not close but if you close this is also a good thing okay now I close this and uh, make it smooth I'll show you with closed one and the open one okay so this is a closed one now select this drag it down now see this is our layer now what you have to do this is in A mode right so we have to make a spline draft for our B1 because this is this photo is right now in B pipe so what you have to do just right click duplicate in B and join okay do not use duplicate in B so otherwise you have to join it separately so now duplicate in B and join now when you click it see nothing happened just only one layer created now go to from one sorry so from A to B now when you go to B see the spline is right now on that position where exactly the A mode was there so just simply select and drag it a little bit now when you drag it see there's a yellow color pipe is showing it means it's drag it from here to there okay so now just put it on your this photo's nose and just change your spline positions as you wish so it's help you for morph okay so this is done now when you go to AB morph this morphing will be show okay for so right now nothing is happening so what you have to do from here root wrap make it zero first and then right click set key and here also right click set key so why the mix value is there when you turn this up the both fixture will be mixing by using this root wrap so now select this to first frame and now go to the last frame and then just increase your mix value and increase your root wrap to 100% now press Q to turn this off now when you play this you can see it's turning wrapping only the nose part I did so just concentrate on your nose part see do not see the eyes only see the nose one okay so without wasting any time I just make one more spline for this lips part so just take a bezier here now I'll make it like open spline okay so for this uh, just take it like this sorry I already in a B mode so it's go to the a1 then I click here click here click here click and like this so this is it then just press escape so now it's done so now go to the from here right click and duplicate in B and join okay so now go to the B1 now see this is here so now this mouth is opened right so what you have to do simply just drag it up for the upper lips okay like this then it's fine and then go to again the A1 and make one more with little more different like this then press just escape and then right click duplicate in B and join and then go to B and simply make it down like this so now it's already help you to make your mouth open okay so now go to again A now select this and for the upper lips part this area make it like this press escape right click duplicate in B and join and then go to the B and simply make it like this cool I hope guys you guys understand that uh, how exactly morphing is happening in our industry so whatever you are doing make sure the, your splines and the positions should be proper so that it will help you to give a better output then go again the A1 and the last one for the lower lips like this so now I divided the lips into this much parts okay so now go right click duplicate in B and join and then just go to B1 and simply drag it to here 
and make this shapes sorry my mistake make this shapes here great cool it looks really nice right now now let's we have to check that output that how output is exactly look like now go to the AB morph and uh, obviously press Q now before pressing buffer what you have to do this is the close spline and this is the open spline so make sure in one uh, what you can say in one morph you guys can't use this two one is closed one is open so what you have to do just go to down and turn off this open one okay so right now no open one is there then just press Q and just press morph now when you see to the lips part you guys can understand it's feel like it's actually opening I think guys this looks really well uh, please do comment that it's exactly look like this space is opening or not see it's feel like it's really opening this is the reason only why we are using open spline so it's always help you to make your photo exactly now see it's feel like properly this shape face is opening okay so by using this way you can make your others okay so I suggest always use open splines it will help you a lot so make it sorry I again make it in a1 so go to the a morph sorry a and see this is also a same like this press escape then go right click duplicate B and join and simply go up go to B and make it it's already in same space because we already make that before starting our spine spline wrap so nothing will be different go to A again now I'll just make from this eyeballs I'll just show only one eye then rest of the part I'll show I already done this before so like this sorry it's closed one now press escape then right click duplicate B and join then go to B whenever you, you uh, are happy with your output just make always check before uh, doing every all part because after a few times when you check your output it's just blunder so every time just check and then do do not do and then check <laughs> then duplicate B and join right click B and just make it like this now when you see this one as well when AB mode press Q and then just play it now see let's zoom zoom this now see both eyes are awesome see really good guys so I already done this before in a close spline one so just make this turn on turn D connect this to the spline wrap now you guys can't can see the shapes with the close one okay so these are the shapes is by using the close one which I had made before uh, this but the same way you can make it in the open spline so I hope this tutorial will be a good example for the newcomers and those who want to know about morphing and the, when the output will completely done it will exactly look like this so guys I hope you guys are really enjoyed this tutorial a lot and if yes then don't forget to hit that subscribe button bell button for the further notification and don't forget to like comment and share and I will see you in my next video with my exciting tutorials and till then have fun stay healthy and bye bye